Hi, Laurie Cardoza Moore with Proclaiming Justice to the Nations, and I hope this message finds you and your family safe and well. Um, I want to just address several of you who have been sending me emails on the comments made by the so called evangelical pastor Rick Wiles, the anti Semitic comments that are made by him. And um, if you haven't heard, he has come out blaming the Jews for spreading the coronavirus. The same thing that we've seen throughout history, um, anti-Semitic tropes lobbed at the Jews, blaming the Jews for spreading all the world's diseases in every place that they've ever lived. This is, this is outrageous that this is continuing. And this man doesn't even think that what he's saying is crazy. And that's exactly what it is. I just wanted to share with you, ladies and gentlemen, because there are false prophets, and we were warned that there would be false prophets in the last days. This man obviously never reads his Old Testament. He never goes back to the foundation, to the promise, to the covenant that God made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and their descendants, that was an eternal covenant. That means eternal. And it's reinforced by St. Paul or the Apostle Paul in the New Testament in the book of Romans. And I just want to share with you a couple of verses. We have to be so careful who we listen to. And this man, this should not be tolerated. He is a heretic. He is a false prophet. He is spewing lies that will incite violence as it always does against the Jews in our community. And this is why PJTN is so important. We are here to educate Christians from a biblical perspective why we stand with our Jewish brethren, why we defend the state of Israel, because it is Zion, it's God's, and Jerusalem is God's city, and why we as Christians must take up this issue. But I want to share something with you. Um, this is in the book of Romans. This is Paul, what he said. He said, quote, but I say, has Elohim cast off his people, Israel? Paul said, may it never be, for I also am of Israel, of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. Elohim has not cast off those, his people, whom he before knew. It goes on to say in verse 20, 28, this is with regards to the election. This is what Paul is talking about in Romans 11, with regards to the election, they are beloved for the Father's sake. Beloved. I don't understand what Rick Wiles doesn't understand about this. Paul even says in verse 25 of that chapter, God's gifts and calling to Israel are irrevocable. Rick Wiles, what do you not understand about that? It's very simple. But you know, God warns us, he tells us, that these false prophets, he turns them over to a, with a spirit of strong delusion because they refuse to love truth. That's Rick Wiles. Ladies and gentlemen, we can't tolerate this. So I just want to encourage you to study your Bible. While we're at home, take the time to study with your children. Read the scriptures um, now that you've got time. We are going to need to be solidly grounded in God's word. This is going to be the only truth that we're going to be able to count on as the days continue to grow dark. This is where our hope is, ladies and gentlemen. And so I want to thank you for taking a moment just to allow me to share these thoughts with you. I hope you'll share this video with your family and friends on your social media platforms. And God bless you for all you do on behalf of our Jewish brethren and all Israel. We'll see you next time.